This video provides an overview of the key concepts covered in Chapter 4 relating to technology and operations management. First, we learn about the two major types of technology, hard and soft. Hard technology includes equipment and devices that perform a variety of tasks in the creation and delivery of goods and services. Examples here include computers, barcode scanners, and RFID tags. Soft technologies include the application of the internet, computer software, and all kinds of information systems to provide data, information, and analysis, and to facilitate the creation and delivery of goods and services. Examples here include databases, artificial intelligence, and voice recognition systems. Next, we learn about some technology issues commonly experienced by manufacturing firms. The first is the selection of the right technology. You don't use a hammer when you need a screwdriver. Second is the appropriate setup and configuration of process resources to help create a smooth flow through the operation. Third is properly trained labor to operate equipment safely and efficiently. Fourth is the continuous improvement of process performance to constantly find efficiencies and to eliminate waste. Fifth is the effective scheduling to meet ship and due dates. And last is ensuring quality to minimize waste, rework, or product returns. Next, we learn about Computer Integrated Manufacturing Systems, or SIMS, which is the union of hardware and software and database management to communications to automate and control production activities from planning and design to manufacturing and distribution. SIMS might include Computer Numerical Control, or CNC, where machine operations are driven by a computer. A great example of this are the automated drive units in Amazon fulfillment warehouses that are controlled by a central system. Autonomous vehicles are also an example of a CNC. SIMS might also include robots, which we know to be programmable machines designed to handle materials or tools in the performance of a variety of tasks such as welding in an automobile manufacturing plant. SIMS can also include computer-aided design and computer-aided engineering, where engineers can design, analyze, test, and simulate and manufacture products before they physically exist. This is how planes are designed and developed now. SIMS can also include computer-aided manufacturing, which is based on computer control of the manufacturing process itself. A system like this works in determining tool movements and cutting speeds. An example of this could be automated cutting and routing tools in a mill workshop. Finally, SIMS can also include flexible manufacturing systems. Here, two or more computer-controlled machines or robots are linked by an automated handling devices such as transfer machines or conveyors and transport systems. Computers direct the overall sequence of the operations and route the work to the appropriate machine, select the load, proper tools, and control the operations performed by the machine. The next topic in Chapter 4 highlights some interesting advances in manufacturing technology. One of them is 3D printing, which can build solid objects from a digital file. Another is industrial robots, which can be trained like humans and cost a fraction of robots today. And then there's nanotechnology, which works at the molecular level. Another concept in the chapter is about service technology, which includes e-service. And that's using the internet and technology to provide services that create and deliver time, place, information, entertainment and exchange value to customers and to support the sale of goods. A great example of this is the Disney PhotoPass system used in the parks and even on the cruise ships, where guests can have their pictures taken by photographers at various locations, and all of the photos are automatically and wirelessly consolidated at a central location for viewing and purchase while at a park or even from home via the internet after their visit. Next, we learned about technology and value chains, specifically the e-commerce view, which includes business to business, business to customer, customer to customer, and government to customer value chains. Also included in technology value chains is customer relationship management or CRM. CRM systems are designed to learn about customers' wants, needs, and behaviors in order to build customer relationships and loyalty and ultimately enhance revenues and profits. Salesforce.com's entire business model is around CRM, which allows the development of competitive advantage in a number of ways, including segmenting markets based on key characteristics, tracking sales trends and advertising effectiveness, forecasting customer retention and defection rates, or identifying which transactions are likely to be fraudulent. Next, we identify some benefits and challenges of technology. Some benefits of technology might include the creation of new industries and job opportunities, integration of supply and value chains, and cost reduction. 
Some challenges might include job shift and displacement, information overload, and the impact on domestic jobs of global outsourcing. The last concept in Chapter 4 focuses on technology decisions and implementation. Here, we learn about scalability, which is the measure of contribution margin required to deliver goods and services as the business grows and volumes increase. Firms that have high scalability are able to serve additional customers with zero or extremely low incremental costs. Shopify is a prime example of this where selling to one customer or 1,000 customers essentially costs the same. Firms that have low scalability require high incremental variable costs to serve additional customers. Another aspect of technology decisions and implementation is decision analysis, which is a formal study of how people make decisions, particularly when faced with uncertain information, as well as a collection of tools to support the analysis of decision problems. Here, we use tools like decision trees and expected value, or EV, based on probabilities. Another aspect of technology decisions and implementation is break-even analysis, which is a basic and simple approach to analyze profit or loss, or to make an economical choice between two options that vary with volume. You don't even have to be an accountant to use break-even analysis. In the end, technology and how it is employed and managed is critical for effective operations.